Hi, beautiful people. Um, I'm in my car waiting, so I am going to do another episode of I don't know what that was. Um, what I dreamt last night. I should have done this the past few days because honestly, holy shit, uh. <laughs> I've had some weird ones. One I didn't want to do just because I, um, I don't know. I feel like if I do it, I will, I don't know. Like, I really do have an opinion on the subject of what it was about. And I just don't want people that were actual victims of what I had a dream about. I don't know, I just don't want it to be like triggering for them, but also it's just a dream. And also it, it was actually semi-traumatizing to me. So I can only imagine how it actually is for other people. Holy shit, like, it was, that's, and that's why, that's exactly what I mean. Like somebody that it actually happened to, well, I doubt this exact, this thing that I'm thinking that I dreamt had happened to anybody, like as I dreamt it, but you know, in other circumstances especially with like this huge like trial that's going on or whatever um and it's is just finishing and I don't even know if the public has been allowed to see it but it involves like something around that if you're getting my drift anyway um what I dreamt last night was uh weird <laughs> and so let me just say um I always have dreams on the street where I grew up, but little things will be changed because when I grew up, I had my parents' house, my mom and dad's house at the top of a hill at the end of a street, and the same little street, it's just a little cut off street, um, dead end kind of street, but right next to a highway, so big road, little road. And then right next to our house was down a huge hill. We had nice sized yards, my grandma's house. And then next to her house, down the road a little ways, was um, the, uh, I just call it the garage. It's what I own now, but it was, I think my grandfather's and then my father's, and then now it's mine. <laughs> it's hard hard work trying to rent out this place or do anything involving this place because the people around here are fucking insane where I live. I'm not saying any more about that subject because it pisses me off. But anyway, I often have dreams about the area right there where I lived. So, um, but things will get changed. For example, the roads might be rivers instead of a road, you know, uh, the house will be different in some sort of way. So, Anyway, the first thing that I remember, my dream... Hold on, I gotta crack my neck. Oh, it's killing me. My neck is killing me. Um, takes place at, um... Hold on. Sorry. Oh, it's just... I have a lot of tension. It's bad. I need a massage. I need a massage, like, bad. <laughs> really bad. But, um... I've never had one before. So... But I imagine the person touching me would be like, is that a rock? Is that a bone? What is that? Anyway, I get off topic. I'm sorry. I have like adult onset ADHD, I guess. Supposedly. I don't care. I'm just wish I didn't have it because it's very hard for me to complete some tasks sometimes and focus on things that I want to focus on. Anyway, off topic again takes place in my grandma's house. The street, all the stuff where I used to live when I was little, okay. But my grandma's house was a school, huge school instead of her house being there. And then her driveway was like this big area. Uh, as a kid, I remember it being a lot bigger. I'm sure everything's bigger when you're a kid. So she, um, you know what I just realized? I'm not filming this the right way. I meant to film this sideways. I do this all the time. I'm sorry. And I really don't want to just do it over again. But 
Anyway, um, school, schoolyard, and I pushed, I got in a fight with somebody who was apparently in a gang. It was like a little slap fight or something. And I, uh, <laughs> I was really like, my teeth are crazy. Look at these little notches they have. Is that, is that weird that you can see those? They have a very traumatizing backstory. I shouldn't have brought them up. But anyway, stop getting off topic, Madison. Don't get off topic. Okay, so anyway, got in a little slap fight, schoolyard slap fight with somebody who I knew from school when I was younger and we were actually great friends. I don't know why it chose, my brain chose this person. I haven't seen them in years either. I'm not going to say their name. But, um, and then I was like, I thought everything was fine at first. And then everyone was like making a big deal out of it like they do in school, you know. Being like, oh, she got you. Like, I can't believe she had the nerve and blah, blah, blah. And so I guess the girl felt humiliated in her way, even though... I don't even know if there was a clear winner. It was like a slap, one of those like slappy punch fights that girls have when they're younger. Nowadays, someone comes at me, I, I play a boxing game a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna be like bobbing and weaving and it's just hard when some of them, some of them hair pullers get in there. But anyway, um, I, uh, I guess she was humiliated for lack of a better word and she kept alluding to the fact that since she knew where I live, because it was like right next to the school, um, that shit was going to go down at my house. And all of a sudden, everyone was like able to drive. And so I'm at my house and, um, <laughs> so weird. My, um, neither of my parents were there. But I lived there, my sister lived there, my nephew was there, um, and I feel like there was a guy there, but I don't really remember who he was or why he was there at all. But then also, I had like two dogs from my childhood. I had my dog Max, who was a huge golden retriever mix that I used to... I had a, a hula hoop routine. I could hold up a hoop and he would jump through it or I could hold my arm out and he would jump over it. And so I do this thing. I would like take a bow at the end and then he'd run and jump over me. It was a cute little routine. And so he's a really smart dog and I love him. And then I had uh, a little puppy that we had. And so a little black and white puppy. And so I was like, these people are coming to get me. And so our house is kind of on a hill and the driveway is kind of like hard to pull up. It's like a slanty driveway, but there is like at the bottom, there's the road. So first thing I did for some odd reason was I bought like the two angriest like Rottweiler dogs in the world and like put them on very long chains so that they could go through my, they could like walk around basically the entire side of each house. They're on each side of each other and like to patrol. But then I was like, no, these people, I was so worried. I was like, these people have guns. I know they do. They're in a gang. <laughs> so I was like, they clearly are going to have guns. They're going to pull up and they're going to shoot the dogs. So I got worried about the dogs and I ended up putting them in the basement. And so then nobody could go in the basement because they were so fucking mean. <laughs> but that's not really a big part of the dream, I guess. Um, or a weird part, really. Uh, so then I started nailing, like sheets of metal like this thick to uh how I got a nail through them I have no fucking idea <laughs> but nailing them to the windows and like the top of the door like where the glass is and I remember my nephew complaining about it he was like it's dark in here and I was like do you want to die <laughs> I was like don't open the door don't go by the windows, because I, I drilled, like, little peepholes so I could look out the windows and peep, you know? And, um, it was funny. It was just, like, literally, like, if I dream just made two eye holes. So you could stick your face up to it and have your two eyes, like, right at the little holes. 
So, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I kept peeping, and I'm, like, waiting for them. And I don't know if it was, like, days or what to go by. But all of a sudden, at one point in time, it was, like, even though I was supposed to be in, like, school or whatever, it was, like, a couple trucks with people in the tailgate, you know, in the back of the truck. And, um, like, I remember, like, an orange, like, Dodge Charger, like, uh, you know, like, cars like that started pulling up at the road because the driveway was very steep, some in the driveway and whatnot. And I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, they're here. And... I remember the people being scared as well, though, because I heard one of them be like, what if she got guns? And I was like, do I got guns? My dumbass self. I don't think I had guns. I don't think I was locked and loaded like I normally am with my... My pepper spray <laughs> that I have right now. Um, I wasn't ready to pop a cap like I am. Like I'm not still <laughs> right now. Anyway... So, they were like, well, we're gonna just, their thing was to scare me, I guess, but they were like, get outside, bitch, let's redo that fight, blah, 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 and I was like, oh, shit, like, I was, like, scared, because there's a lot of people, and they got guns, and I was like, everyone, like, lay on the floor, you know, so they started shooting the guns in the air, and, you know, there wasn't really people around, but they were still scared they were gonna get I guess, arrested, obviously, but I remember yelling, I had this, like, I don't know how I did this, because I never saw myself setting it up in the dream, but I had this megaphone system, where it looked like a CB thing, like a trucker would pull down, you know, and be like, breaker, breaker, blah, 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 10, 4, over, like, but it was attached to a megaphone outside of the house, um, because we had an alarm system, and it has one of those speakers, but it looks like a megaphone, it's an older one, and so I think that's where that must have appeared from in my brain. So I was like, I have guns and you're on my property. So if you try to come in here, or you go any further and not leave, then I'm going to kill you. And since you're on my property with weapons, I have a right to. And I remember them being like, oh shit, like we gotta go. And so they left, they were pulling out and my nephew goes and he opens the door and uh, I was like, no, in slow motion, and he opens the door, he's like, but my, my, my friend Jojo is out there, and I was just like, and I see him wave, and I, like, peek out the door, and I see, like, some kid on the back of one of the trucks, like, freaking holding, like, an AK, like, on his, resting on his lap, and he was just like, <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing, get in here, so, um, that was just odd, but, and then I remember, for some reason, I always have this problem with my dreams. Like, the basement of dreams, like, for some reason, always will rip open into the outside ground. I have no idea why. But I was like, oh, shit, the basement ripped open. Me, in my weird head, again was like, again. And my dog, Max, got out. I was like, he's going to chase the cars down the road. And then... I remember running out, I was going to go outside to chase him, and this is where it gets a little bit just, I don't know where it came from, don't ask me, I don't know, okay, but if you're here to learn about how weird other people's dreams are, then you need to, I need to make more videos because I have crazy shit like this every night, doesn't make sense, anyway, so... And you should watch my old ones, because those are my more adventure ones. Um, I mean, I have them every night. I just don't post them all because I'm lazy as hell. So I got time in my car right now. So I'm running outside to get the dog, and I don't see the dog, but I see somebody that I know, and I see them on Instagram all the time. I'm not going to tell you who it is, because I don't want them to see this and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> But they were, like, um, coming... Oh, yeah, I noticed other people, too. But I forgot about that part. As I was going out to chase the dog, I stopped because I saw people throwing stuff at my house. And I went inside, and it smelled really bad, I guess. 
and I was like, what are you, on the radio, I was like, what are you throwing at my house? It stinks. And somebody literally yelled, crack puke. He was like, we're throwing crack puke. And I was just like, what is that? Over. And he was like, I don't know, he pretty much to the, in the realm of, it fucking explains itself, you idiot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was like, what the fuck? Like, ew. thinking about it today is kind of making me sick now. Um, like what it looked like was just not. It kind of looked like that, like, uh, never mind. You don't want to know. <laughs> you, you don't want to know. But I, anyway, so I was like, stop it or I'm going to shoot you. I don't think I ha I don't think I I was strapped, you know, but I act like I was. So as I'm stopping her, I'm gonna shoot you. So that they were coming outside and then so I went to go outside again and chase my dog. And then I see the person that I know from real life walking up the steps and it's a guy. And um Sorry, people keep texting me, and I keep seeing it at the top, and it's distracting. But, so, this guy walks up, and I'm like, what are you doing? And he was like, I, um, I'm supposed to throw this crack puke at you? <laughs> and I was like, don't you dare throw that crack puke at me. And he was like, I don't want to, but I'm getting paid. And also, they're watching. And they'll hurt me if I don't. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you, but if you throw that at me, I'm going to kill you. And he was like, can I dump it angrily at your feet? And I was just like, okay. So yeah, so he just dumped it like on the porch, like, and I knew it was gonna be by my feet. So I just like jumped away. And he was like, he was like, I'm also supposed to, uh, ask you if you want any of these drugs and I was like drugs and he was like yeah I got some drugs and I don't know what it was but it was like I don't know have you ever seen like as well of course you've seen a ziploc bag for sandwiches but like those ones that are like super tiny like they're really tiny and they're like the cutest little things ever and, um, so, <laughs> it, he, like, had a bunch of them with, like, powder in them and was, like, laying them on the porch. And I was, like, are these laced with something? I was, like, are these meant to kill me? And he was, like, yes. And I was, like, dude. He's, like, get out of here. He's, like, what is wrong with you? He was, like, I have to. And I was, like. I guess. And then he keeps trying to talk me into like buying these drugs. I don't know what they were. It was just white powder in little tiny mini sandwich baggies. And he was like, you could do this one or have this one. And it was like, and he made like a little line going up like the steps with them. And I was just like, no, you've already told me that they're laced with something to kill me. I'm not taking them. And he was like, okay, well, I had to try because they're still watching me. And then, oddly enough, my alarm went off, like, right there. So, that's all I got. It was an odd one and probably not something I would normally ever tell anybody because it's fucking weird. But I also... I don't know, I like reminding myself of the weird-ass dreams that I have sometimes, because it is interesting. I don't know. 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 So, we're just gonna leave it there, because that was the dream, and holy shit, it's been like 20 minutes. Thank you for watching, if you stayed this far. Sorry it was a little anticlimactic, but, mm, I might put up the other one, but I have a little deal of talking to do if I put that one up and I don't want anybody to get like offended by it or anything so I put that one up 
it's like stuck with me all these days. Not these often I forget about them within days. But I have crazy dreams like this almost every single night. So I don't know. But I will try and maybe put the other one on. Maybe just in terms of like to talk up I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Just <laughs> hope everybody has a great day and if no one told you this today i love you bye bye it's getting cold in my car